In 2012, I voted for president for the only true pro-life option in that campaign, myself. For some of you remember that I was running for president in several states just to make a point to show ads of aborted babies to prick the conscience of the nation. And I was on the ballot in West Virginia where I lived at the time, took my boys into the voting booth and voted for myself. I, don't, I didn't win, in case you didn't remember that. I did beat Obama, by the way, in 14 counties in Oklahoma. I, that in the Democratic primary, I beat a sitting president in 14 counties, and I'm still waiting to take the oath of office for those counties, but they haven't called. Um, all kidding aside, there's actually a reason why the Republican establishment, and especially the inside the Beltway establishment of Washington, D.C., the conservative establishment, would rather have Hillary as president than Donald Trump as president. And, and by the way, the Beltway, when you hear that phrase, it's talking about Interstate 495. It, put a map up for them, would you please? There's, a, there's Northern Virginia, Southern Maryland. This is a part of the greater DC area. I lived inside the Beltway for three years. We functioned there. We had an activist embassy, if you will. People staying at our home, activism constantly, protests, press conferences. And <laughs> I've been dealing, and, and for years before that, I had an office inside the Beltway, years earlier. And I'm, I'm just, unfortunately, I've had a, way too much time inside of D.C., way too familiar with what's going on. And in some ways, been the, um, the barking dog on the parade route of the establishment the GOP establishment, the conservative pro-family religious right establishment. I'm going to explain to you why they would rather have Hillary. It's a multi-million dollar industry. The religious establishment, the religious right, the conservative establishment is a multi-billion dollar industry. It's a fundraising industry. If they have Hillary as president, they can raise money to stand against her. Send us money now to fight Hillary's agenda. Our country needs to be saved from Obama's third term, and we know how we can hem her in. Send us money so that we can encourage Speaker Ryan and Senate Leader McConnell to resist blah, blah, blah. So they, they become, on a fundraising level, they become the shrill voice that's pressing the hot buttons that says, send us money so we can stand against Hillary. Now, if Mitt Romney becomes president or some Republican establishment person, then they say, actually, you know what? I'm going to take a break and I'll explain to you why it would be okay for them to have somebody like that, but Trump is the worst scenario of the three, okay? Don't go away.